What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a football news video which I never ever thought I would make. The Empire of the Cup uh, website is reporting on this and I've seen it on Twitter and I was like, wait, what? What did just Skirtel do? I mean, what, what is your reaction? So apparently uh, Skirtel just called Jurgen Klopp, our manager, a dickhead on Instagram, which is just outrageous oh dear i mean skirter wasn't a fan favorite before this but now everybody is up in arms among the liverpool fans so basically i will give my opinion but this video is also for you guys to give your opinion in the comments below and actually Skirtar are very close to signing for fenerbahce for five and a half million pounds but to go out like this after serving Liverpool for almost 10 years, for almost a decade, for 9 years. I think it's nothing short of disgraceful and, and bang out of order. And yes, most of the fans want to leave, uh, want, want Skirta to leave the Liverpool, Liverpool, me included. But actually, before this happened, actually quite a few fans were saying that Skirta has been a great servant. And when he was playing alongside Jamie Carragher or Daniel Anger, he was actually a pretty decent defender. And I remember in the 2013-14 season where we scored more than 100 goals, Skirtar was actually the highest scoring defender in the Premier League. So he had some really, really great uh, seasons at Liverpool. So this is the source of this huge, huge controversy. So, ba controversy. so basically, uh, Skirtar's defender shared his, this image uh, on Instagram and, uh, and he, cl he put some hashtags on... Uh, <laughs> on the picture, the picture's description and the first, uh, the, I think the last uh, hashtag mean, means hashtag Klopp is a dickhead because uh, that's, uh, you know, uh, it's a short for Klopp ja kokot which means in Slovakian Klo uh, is a, it's a slang for dickhead or a dick and it's apparently very insulting some people who know Slovakian translated this and I think it's just I mean, Skirta replied to the post saying the last hashtag is top with a load of smiley faces uh, and then his friend replied, hope Jürgen won't see it and then Skirta responds, hope he does. I mean, what? Why would you? Oh my god, even if you leave a job, you just don't call your, your boss a dickhead. Especially when you are a footballer, a role mother, and you are, you know, we, Liverpool is not like, a, being a Liverpool player is not like an ordinary job. Maybe you can call a, your your manager or your boss a dickhead just before you, you move to another company. It's, it's still, it's not a nice thing to do. But uh, just for Skirtel being dropped by Klopp because he has been atrocious this season. He made countless amounts of mistakes. Just rewatched the the Southampton Liverpool game because of you know Mane. We signed. We just signed Mane, which I'm extremely happy about. Uh, and uh, I just rewatched that game, and and uh, the Skirtel nightmares came back. <laughs> I rewatched it because Mane scored the two goals against us and it was just brilliant. And yes, uh, Skirtel might be disappointed and bitter that he has fallen down the manager's tracking order, but Jurgen Klopp doesn't pick players because of their name or because they have a personal relationship. And that's what I love about him. He's not like Brandon Rogers who had his favorites. Jurgen Klopp picks players according to their performance. And Kolo Toure, frankly, were performing better. better Hell, even Lukas Leivov sometimes played as a centre-back because even he was better than Martin Skirtel at centre-back and that just says it all and uh, and to come out with this publicly is nothing short of out of order and absolutely disgraceful. I just can't believe that Skirtel thought that this would be a good idea to do this but when, you know, we are in the day and age of the social media and the internet and everything spreads like wildfire on social media so so you Skirta hopefully learns his lesson he puts out a statement after this to Instagram saying I'm truly sorry for the situation and for what was written under my name these days when I am very busy I've asked my close friend to help me manage my social media profiles he, he got taken away and he did not realize how serious 
the comments may appear. I guess he means he got carried away. I would like to stress that the opinion he expressed is not my opinion. I mean, do you buy this? Do you, do you really believe that it wasn't Martin Skurta who, who said this? I mean, he says he's very busy. What? You just got knocked out in the Euros. I, he's posting it from Trenčín, which is a city in Slovakia. I've been there, so I know. And uh, and uh, how, what, are you are resi you you really think that we should believe that it was one of your friends? I mean, why not say that your phone said that in your pocket, just like Jolly Alaska? I mean, that would be even more outrageous. Frankly, I just don't believe Martin Skurta here. I think he's just trying to cover uh, his tracks, trying to find an excuse. I mean, when you are on holiday. Uh, after the Euros, you don't let your best friend manage your Instagram account. Like, I mean, what? That's just a bad excuse, in my opinion. But anyway, so let me know, guys, what do you think about this in the comments below? And I hope that you found this video entertaining or, or enjoyable. There will be a new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode later tonight on my channel. I just wanted to make a video because I want to, I'm, I'm really looking forward to I will be honest, I'm really looking forward to reading your comments on this topic. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later guys. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.